let's go to this next one here. Uh, uh, is it more? Uh, it's now more expensive to own a home than rent one mm. at any time uh, uh, since 2000. So this is a story on page two, Market Watch. The housing market may be slowing down, but owning a home is still a costly proposition. Two charts reveal exactly how expensive it is. If you want to put that up there, uh, Tyler, so people can see it. Just over a year ago, the monthly cost of owning and renting were practically identical, according to a blog post from John Burns Real Estate uh, Consulting. Now owning a home costs $839 more per month than renting. The differential is almost $200 higher than any time. Since the turn of century, 20 years ago, 22 years ago, Daniel uh, Wynn, senior research manager at John Burr's Road, across residential properties, renting a home would set back, set one back roughly 1962 across, uh, according to data from Redfin, uh, as of April 2022, two months ago. But if a homeowner had put down 7% down payment for a home, they'd be stuck with a mortgage that would set them 2114 a month, 152 more. With demand now shifting toward renting, Home builders who were once reluctant to sell rental home investors are now soliciting offers from investors. Strong demand from investors will provide additional support to today's home prices. Win at it. So when you look mm-hmm. at that chart right there, take a look at that. Look how it's been. It's been all about buying, 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 and now it's renting. And the last time it peaked, not even at that level. What year is that, by the way? Is that 05, 06? 06, yeah, exactly. What's the red versus the blue? Red is it's better to uh, blue is rent. Yeah, no, uh, blue is rent and red is own. Okay, so it was good to own in after the financial crisis. Oh wait, prices oh, wait. went down. But yeah. other than and that, it's always 20, been cheaper to rent. April in, through, in the last October. twenty years is what I'm saying. But by the way, here's here's what you have to know though. What mm-hmm. if you if you look at this, this is what you have to know. Look how sick that drop is on when it is good to 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 buy. Look what year that is. Look at the exact month. Yeah, you're right. right exactly. But go the to the month. Crisis. Go to the exact month. Boom. No, no, the month. It's not It's not financial crisis. April 09, it a- looks like. April 09. So April 09 is how much after financial crisis. November 07 is when Countrywide, New Century, WAMU, mm-hmm. everybody starts saying, we're not doing pick a payment loan. Yeah. The no income, no assets. Nina. They, Nina, they stopped doing. In November of 07. So if you look at November of 07 there, the drop is coming. So it took November of 07 till April of 09, which means November of 07, April of 09 is how long? That's 18 months, give or take. Mm-hmm. So this means 18 months from April. What is 18 months from April? 18 months from April is go eight months, then add another 10 months. Eight, April is eight months, uh, 10 months. October of next year is going to be perfect time to buy, and it's going to go like that for about three years, four mm-hmm. years. Do you see that? Yeah. So from October of uh, 2023 till about October of 2026, 2027, that's when it's going to be the best time to be buying. Yeah. So if you're sitting there, by the way, if you're a realtor right now trying to sell this, what I'm saying to you right now, you may want to not have them listen to this podcast. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't share this message. No, don't listen to that. But if you're the podcast. person that is mm-hmm. selling And if you're thinking about selling, and again, we talked about this on the last podcast, don't be greedy selling right now. Do not, if you're trying to sell, sell. But if you're just trying to like, you're thinking maybe I want to sell, I don't want to sell, hang on to your house. But if you want to buy, you may want to wait 18 more months. And isn't it it crazy? Like, like, and and, and we talk about this all the time. Like everybody's talking about the markets coming, the markets can crash. Have you ever thought that you'd actually say the words like, oh my God, like people ask me, Vinny, you're going to live here forever. Mm -hmm. Are you going to buy a house? I'm just like... Just waiting for that market to crash. Yeah. Like I never thought I'd say some shit like that. Like the only person I knew when the when the crash happened was Michael Burry, right? He was the only one Michael spinning. Burry. Now everybody's like, "Come on, man, let's let's well, have no, everything crash so I can buy a fucking house." I'm gonna jump in and what what two things? Uh, number one, I'm shocked. You see how like all the way to the right, basically when COVID hit, yeah, April of twenty. That's where the a, a little red starts showing up. Yeah, you would think it'd be more than that yeah. with the fury of buying that's been going on. Mm-hmm. It's it, it clearly it. If I'm looking at this, the oh only time God. it was actually good to buy was after the financial crisis. That's what I'm looking at. Of course. I see blue, 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 wow, blue, 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 blue wave like it's a liberal city out over here. <laughs> and then it's uh, good yeah. to buy during the crisis.